What's up, YouTube? This is Enzo Rides coming at you with a little video today. Just an update on the 2021 Street Bob FX BBS with the 114. This is my ride right here. Um, first time I've taken it out in about, man, I can't even lie to you guys, since like September. I've started it up a couple times and stuff like that. But like late September when I got the Subi, um, I just got real heavy into it. And, you know, California has been kind of cold. I work nights, 4 p.m., 12, 30 a.m. So uh, when I leave work, it's it's freezing. It's fucking cold outside. And then the last couple of weeks has been rainy over here in California. I mean, we need it, but, you know, so I've been kind of confined to the car. Um, tried to take the bike to work out last week. Completely dead. Maybe because I didn't start it. I don't know what. It was dead, right? So, uh. I hooked it up on the battery tender, left it there for a day, came back, started up just fine. It's been chilling. I took it out today for a little ride to the gym. Um, it ran good. It ran smooth. The only thing that sucks is I have a check engine light. Let me see if I can grab the keys. I don't know if it's because it's been sitting for so long and, you know, the battery died and maybe, maybe that caused something. Maybe it caused it to throw a, a cell light, a little check engine light. I don't know. Um, I'm going to figure it out. I got to go pick up my daughter from school here real soon. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, keep this video short. Maybe this I'm off this weekend, so I'll probably try to run the code and see what I could pull, see what's going on with it. Other than that, I mean, it's ran good since the last time you guys seen it. The only thing I've done... I extended the front forks so obviously you guys can see i cut off the gators those things were ugly i mean look at how much more i gotta clean that up too that's just a little a little fluid and stuff but i extended the front forks i did the race tech front suspension kit with the tracker die plus two damper rods gave me it gave me some tall some tall travel this thing rides like a cadillac i also went with the uh speed merchant adjustable preload I'm gonna preload adjusters I guess speed merchant preload adjusters pretty uh pretty solid pretty good setup I mean the thing rides is like a Cadillac I lifted the rear I have the uh, Russ Burnamont designs RS1 shock as you can see the bags are in the way but if we get under there you can see some mean mean fender gap so you know I lift the ass end up the front end just wasn't high enough it was like teetering so i went ahead and installed that my buddy gil hooked me up that will help me install this we i didn't get to make a video because you know it was on his time he did it um out of the cage i don't know if you guys seen the cage but if you guys are thinking about pulling the trigger on the front suspension kit do it man i came up harley ma's page on instagram buy and sell um somebody was upgrading to a bagger he was like, I'm parting, not even parting now. He had a brand new kit. He didn't even install. He sold it to me. I think I got like about 200, almost $300 off shipped to my house for that kit. So, you know, but yeah, that, uh, so it's the, uh, race tech, race tech front end kit comes with the gold valve emulators. I guess the way Gil was explaining it to me, it's supposed to simulate, um, the inverted forks is supposed to simulate something towards like an inversion type fork. It gives you like that feel. And then, yeah, with the extended rods, I mean, it's nice, man. I ride over speed bumps, everything. I don't, doesn't hurt. I don't get no like sudden jerk. It just floats over, man. It's like, it's nice. So think about doing it. Do that shit. Other than that, we're going to run it this weekend. See what's up with that check engine light. I have some things planned for this. I want to get... I actually like the stock air cleaner. I'll probably just get a new element. But I am trying to hook up a, I guess, a, a cat can, if you will. You know, something to get rid of that oil. Because as you can see, riding it hard today just to the gym. I think I overfilled it pretty much. I don't know. Or filled it just right. But when it does, the oil comes out of the bottom right here. And it spills onto the motor. And it just uh, looks ugly. Got some scrubs on the exhaust, burnt that up. But yeah, I got some some things planned for this, this summer, this spring. Do some how-to videos for you guys, tear into it, see what's good. 
Mill guy, so it's cool as fuck. Gotta get, I got a cap for that too. It's gold, probably gonna power coat it black. And then, you know, these don't run dual caliper setups, so it looks a little ugly, but I don't mind it. But other than that, bike's still alive, guys. Runs like a champ. Gotta check out that check engine light. You know, got some more Harley content for you. I got a bunch of my Harley followers. Like, what's up, man? Well, you know, how's the bike? What, what's the update on it? I know you guys are probably tired of seeing my Subi vids, but hey, man, I like to do them both, so just bear with me. You guys got any, uh, what do you guys think of the bike? Comment below. You guys like it? Smash that like button, hit the subscribe. We got some dope stuff coming in. Oh, I also got a, what do you call it? A Moons MC LED light in for the front. I just got to get some stuff. I was looking at that uh, Cruzy Originals relocation bracket to make it more, look more like a dyna got this also i just haven't installed it yet i gotta get around to it but it's coming the vids are there i gotta get the connectors and stuff like that anybody needs a chain guard or, or a belt guard hit me up i just got it chilling right here but uh all right guys again like comment subscribe i like chatting it up with you guys in the comments so let me know what you guys think of the bike what are you guys doing to yours what do you think of these m8s all right, man. Ride safe, y'all.